government of india thought about it and introduced this pm swanidhi scheme so we selected around 5000 uh, street vendors street vendors 98% of these individuals have never taken a loan individuals who used to for working capital uh, requirement mm. their balance sheet actually grew by close to 2000 rupees per month this is like 20% the the one metric to be tracked yes about the success of this scheme eventually is, is what proportion of them will will be able to borrow from the market without this interest hello all welcome to another episode of interpret a podcast series brought to you by center for analytical finance at indian school of business this is prasanna tantri i teach finance at isb with me is aditya mulidharan once again uh, good to have you back Uh, so he is uh, practically lead center for analytical finance at isb uh, so we you know we discussed uh, last time about uh, you know returns to capital for small uh, street vendor type workers you know this is an episode that i did with a phd sure. student ashirwad mishra so the discussion was that if you give some amount some funding to yes. small businesses yes the kind of returns that they make is unbelievably high Yes. you know in fact he quoted a study by mckenzie and woodroff yes. uh, in sri lanka what they find is a 100 dollar given to a, a street vendors there yes. generated an additional profit of 60 rupees 60 mm. to 65 you know sort of monthly return of 5% yes. right similarly he said you know he said this this happened in kenya it happened in africa different parts of africa and dif- different parts of the world yes. results were similar yes. and we also discussed the study by banerjee and duflo in the indian context where when small firms are given additional credit we yes. have this idea of priority sector lending yes. and when some firms were made eligible for this credit yes. they generated something like 80 to 90% so we said this is the access to credit problem mm-hmm. where there are a set of firms who, which have projects which are profitable yeah which are profitable if you give yes. them money they are profitable yes. in, in when i say profitable it will lead to investment it will lead to employment it will yes. lead to growth yes but then somehow money is not flowing to them Yes. this is what we call as market failure yes so you have a positive return investment you have a bank which wants to make money mm-hmm. whose cost is lower but somehow it is not flowing yes For various reasons you know yes. there is there could be lack of information yes. or bank cannot monitor this guy yes. various reasons you yes. know we ashirwad also discussed a paper by banerjee and duflo yes. where he said one of the reasons is this bank has large fixed cost right and they can't lend the small loans right you know there are many issues but this is a market failure Yes. there are profitable projects there are lenders money is not flowing yes in finance we would say whenever there is profit money will flow yes you know that's that's not happening this is the whole idea and you know that you have studied this and government of india thought about it yes and during covid uh, yes. immediately after covid and introduced this pm swanidhi scheme correct right uh, what does it stand for prime ministers street vendor atmanirbhar nidhi correct you know a i was very sure <laughs> you know these these days anything this government will launch will have some atmanirbhar yes, yes. pm and a i was sure yes but hopefully i got it right yes yes right? sir so aditya because you studied this program right. can you explain what this scheme is right what is the scheme for the benefit of the viewers who is targeted and and all that sure. then we'll talk about our study what did we find and what are the areas sure. to improve the 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 scheme was actually started during covid it is part of the atmanirbhar package immediately after covid immediately right? after covid so yeah. it was part of the atmanirbhar package mm-hmm. and uh, the 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 scheme targets the street vendors uh, as as we discussed now the scheme gives loans in three phases now three phases is the first loan that the 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 scheme provides to the street vendors is a loan of 10000 rupees so there is scheme rupees. to give loans to street vendors loans to credit and and, and we were talking to ministry yes and there are anywhere between a crore to crore and half street vendors Correct. in india so there is no credible estimate there is there is no credible estimate and now they have they, now like the 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 way that they are proceeding with the loan process that's actually legitimizing a lot of street vendors in the process for sure means now um through swanidhi the 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 unsecured working capital loan so this is an unsecured unsecured loan. working so banks will loan. give you loan give loans to street vendors yes. street vendors could be these people who sell toys yes. those who sell golgappa yes. those who sell sweets yes clothes on the street yes. any people that you see around right who are in your footpath and sell right. all of right 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 first loan that swanidhi offers is a uh, loan of 10000 rupees right and uh, then it's a 18 it's a 12 month loan then there is a 20000 rupee loan if you repay once, that once you repay the first loan 
then a 36 month tenure loan is given uh, for a 50,000 rupee loan mm -hmm. that is after you pay the 20,000. So it's the, the beauty of it is it gives a small ticket sized loan mm -hmm. and basically once you start repaying it's creating a credit history for these individuals. Right. Right. Now, uh, apart from that, being an unsecured loan, it also provides a 7% interest subsidy. The right. government is providing a 7% interest subsidy. Mm -hmm. Now, on an average, the banks might be lending around 13 to 14% to this segment. Mm -hmm. Now, over that, there is a 7% interest subsidy. Mm -hmm. But uh, over and above this, okay. there is there is a cash subsidy that the government offers to promote digital payments. Okay. So that is that is one one element that probably we can touch upon later. Sure. When 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 you mentioned about uh, Duflo's main problem that the the whole cost of lending mm. is extremely high for for these large banks. I think we'll touch upon this. So government is making it cheaper and easier for easier this. for for any like for banks or any other uh, third party lenders to to come into this business through do to do uh, digital lending. So basically, once you start collecting then automatically the cost so if the vendor down. transacts digitally yes then there is additional cash subsidy there is additional cash and subsidy. and and plus there is a government guarantee to banks yes, also yes, right yes if there is a default even after all this if there is a default government yes. takes some guarantee yes the government right? guarantee. this is the structure of yes, the scheme yes, right correct. so now uh, the the ministry approached isb and you know yes, uh, yeah. we went and spoke with them yes. and the we did a study yes. of how the scheme was working this correct. was approximately a year after the program was launched correct Yes, is and when we yeah we submitted and, and the and the uh, uh, minister actually cited our report yes, and parliament yes, as yes, well. Yes, and you used it for your increasing your bonus <laughs> as well. I remember. Yes, you yes. said the study actually helped uh, uh, visibility. Correct. And all that. Fair enough. So let's yes. let's move on. Right. So, how did we you know what were the objects objectives of the study? Right. And how did we go about it? When you say study, did we just you know how did we actually do it? Right. So this was given that this is something that which was very new for us mm -hmm. we also didn't know that how this segment really behaves mm -hmm. and what are the problems that they have and how are they exposed to the scheme and so on so the first measure was for us to go on ground and mm -hmm. talk to these street vendors before My, even starting before, any before we even started the questionnaire the 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 once we had the meeting with the ministry, our first step was to first, even before making any commitment or any statement with them, just to first understand what's what's really happening on ground. Yeah, the, the Pani Puri guy, you never bothered to understand to what, whether what, he, what their problem is. You yes. just ate it. Yes, <laughs> so yes, far. yes. So this yes. time you went and really sp yes. started speaking to them. So Correct. what did you figure out? So I first went only to those people who actually got this loan. Right. So that was my first. Right. Uh, across the country, across you visited? So yeah, I was so in the starting round. I just visited uh, two, three states right. and like done a rough survey of some hundred people. Mm. And based on that, what I found was these these are these these entities. Even though they operate in like very very uh, in a very small scale, mm. they are uh, they are extremely liquid. Right. They are uh, monthly like compared to what I thought. Like mm. at least my based on my perception, I thought they might be struggling with money those kind of things they must be having their troubles but when i spoke to them their their monthly sales it was ballpark around 60 to 70 thousand mm -hmm. and that's that was surprising for me mm -hmm. and for a couple of house visits that i did mm -hmm. they were they were wealthy right. they had the equipments they had things in their houses which was primarily served through their businesses that we observed sure so based on that at least my first perception was that even Though this 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 segment is underserved, mm. but this is not a very poor segment that it that I thought. And that it's they not might a bad be. business also. It's not a bad business right? at all. And it's but did you ask them how, how many of them had a bank loan? Correct. So the first the that was after understanding their basic finance like basic uh, cash flow. My mm. first question was to understand what is their mode of uh, finance like finances when when they require any sort of loan or anything. 95 to 99 percent at least in my first round was that these people have never taken a loan they there's no formal bank loan no formal bank loan so no. all whatever they have they use their own cash they, generated correct and they invest reinvest yes, or yes. borrow friends in formal correct. loans correct. and we know informal loans are crazy correct you know yes. you borrow like a uh, uh, hundred rupees yes uh, you uh, uh, the way it works you know i have studied this like you borrow 800 rupees 
hmm. and pay 100 rupees for next 100 days. Yes. Which is like 200 rupees on 800 yes. in yes. three months. Yes. It's crazy compounded. It's yes. like 130, 140 percent. Yes. Yes. It's yes. a crazy yes. amount yes. of interest rate. Yes. That's how they yes. were. Yes. So now you spoke to these vendors. Yes. So that should have given you an idea of preparing a survey, right? Yes. So on that basis, on that basis, you should have you would have prepared a questionnaire yes, and yes. then uh, you took the help of the ministry yes and yes. then how did you decide on the sample whom will you because your right. informal thing is done right that helped you prepare a questionnaire right now you need to do the formal thing right right in for in questionnaire you you got all these questions what's their yes. business yes. did they have access what how did they use this right. money right. and do they know about the scheme right you you prepared all this awareness right? about our scheme. awareness yes. about the yes. scheme and and yeah. do they require more credit and right. so on and so forth right. in fact how was the bankers behavior Yes, and, and, and the peripheral of benefits of the scheme yes, that, we, that includes yeah, yeah. what what yeah, yeah that that, yes. that we should talk separately. Yes. I think yes. Uh, so then you you asked this. Uh, uh, then how how did you go about selecting the sample and sure. So uh, the mainly the street vendors come under a urban local body. Right. Now now there are close there are over four thousand four thousand five hundred urban local bodies spread across the country. Mm -hmm. Now my first I wanted to look into a representative set of urban local bodies that that I'll be able to make an assessment okay they represent the whole country so that was my first task so I had to choose at least some hundred urban local bodies spread across India and I chose hundred local bodies across 22 uh, states at right. least one lo urban local body per district uh, like those that that was the right. scale at which uh, we we sampled and okay. and you selected around five five thousand so we selected around five thousand uh, street vendors street vendors so it was again a random uh, selection of street vendors right. and we followed all the rules of statistics to sure. to 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 and very similar to how NSSO does its survey so we we maintained yeah, I, I the same we should get into the same margin yeah. of error sure. and those kind sure. of things were taken care of and sure. that's how we survey so we and you hired a professional agency we, we hired a professional agency to conduct our service okay so now these guys went about and spoke to these people yes so did you check on this the survey process if you just or relied on the professional agency completely Correct. or did you see how the surveys were going on the yes. fact that you have you already yes. did one informal survey yes, yes. should i give you some idea how does it work yes so one was that we we did continuous surprise visits sure. over the tenure of four to five months when the survey was going on mm -hmm. so we we did our surprise visits but i think one uh, thing that you introduced and you told us to take care was the whole idea of triangulation mm -hmm. that is whatever data is being collected on ground mm -hmm. we have to map it with some authentic data that is collected by let's say the bank sure. or the government itself right so what we did our groundwork before even the survey started and also when the survey was happening is have the survey results in one place mm -hmm. have application data at one place mm -hmm. that is when they were applying for their loans mm -hmm. also have the loan performances of those individuals for from the banks in one place also oh, you you will know whether i'm bluffing or not right correct if i say correct. i have not defaulted yes you can actually go and check my yes. bank statement yes. whether i have defaulted yes. or not yes or if i say that i have done 30 percent digital transaction yes you have record of digital transaction yes. you can check this correct. is what you mean by this is this is what i so mean so you can actually verify Yes, this this claim using another uh, another uh, more credible data. Correct. So, and and you you did you find that broadly what what they were saying were in yes. line with yes. what other data audited yes. and, and yes. Re, uh, data set. So we tact tactfully what we did is we included in the survey we included all similar questions that were asked in the application data and even let's say loan performances and so on. So. It was broadly, not broadly, at least there was a match of 95 to 92 to 95 wow. percent in terms of the accuracy at which it was captured. So, okay, so then then it's reasonable to say even other questions. See, yes. not every question you have triangulation, right? Yes. If yes. I say I have come from Bihar, you won't, won't check, you know, in that municipality or right. village. But yeah. if, if somebody is saying correct answer for these things, it's likely that it's likely that they're saying correct yeah. for other things also, right? Yes. So, this is the let's, this is all process, this is all great. Yes. Now, let's talk about results. Right. right. So, is that that 95 to 98 percent you said? Yes. That who did not have access to credit in your informal survey. Yes. Did the same result show up here as well? Actually, yes. So okay. both ways. Right. Now, there, what we did right. is, 
and this this was one of the highlights i was super excited when i saw it like right. this was one of the key things that when you we were young as you go older when, this excitement you know when we were <laughs> when we were initially discussing right. out of those 100 uh, sur- like 100 200 people whom we surveyed when we okay. saw the result mm-hmm. that was the key that these people don't have credit mm-hmm. but when we did it for those 5000 people and also what we did is we checked the credit bureau report mm-hmm. so from the ministry we got a credit bureau report of these individuals mm-hmm. we saw that 98% of these individuals have never taken a loan they are new to credit so which 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 clearly says that the scheme has actually reached the target segment. okay so this is the main highlight you know yeah. lot of people even when people quote our report yes they they focus on default rate default rate and all that yes actually in this segment you know maybe we should discuss some other uh, time default rate is not such a big deal you yes. know if you give credit to such uh, uh, segment you expect some default yes that is likely to happen unsecured right. loan right which is fine that is why you have all this yes but the point is the first main finding of our paper uh, of of your exercise is that this actually reached people who did not have access to bank credit yes that is yes. big yes otherwise lot of times a complaint is those who do not need get the benefit those who actually need do not get the benefit yes right yes. this is one scheme where people who got these loans at least yes. again we are not claiming everybody who d- does not have a bank uh, loan has gotten this loan yes. that's a different claim yes. but at least those who got this loans are those who who had no bank loans before yes and despite having profitable loans yes. despite have profitable businesses despite borrowing informally yes. they did not have a bank loan yes. so at least it pushed you know introduced people into the into banking yes uh, that's a big achievement right and right. and and 1 crore and 70 75 lakh of 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 borrowers yes and right? that's our finding that was your finding number 1 fine yes uh, and what about uh, you know uh, uh, the impact of the loan what did they use this for yes and how you know did did you have something similar to mckenzie woodroff kind yes. of a thing yes yeah. yes yes so when you so the first first one of the f- initial questions was also to understand what like the loan was given for working capital uh, it was a working capital loan right. but then uh, it is it still they have the freedom to use it yeah, in nobody's any, going to check. any any capital bank never bothered ba- right cut. it's 10000 who cares yes yes for a large bank yes yeah. so then what we so first is we checked what did they report mm-hmm. what did they use this loan for mm-hmm. so these people said that let's say uh, whatever they responded we found that 98% of the individuals have used it for working capital requirements okay. so that so if i were to show breaking news you know yes. this is not breaking news yes. but the point is point number 1 is it is going to people who actually yes. were excluded from credit correct point number 2 that those who got credit yes did not use it did not go and drink or celebrate yes. did a party or none of those yes. they actually most of them used it for business correct right correct. around 95% around 95% have used it for business now we might we like the first hunch that i had and we when we were discussing is when when something of this sort happens like it might just be reporting because they might think that we are coming from the bank or we sure, are might sure, we sure. are just just wanting to enquire they also know that it's a working capital loan and so on so what we did is we did a very small ex- like we did an exercise mm-hmm. so uh, we will show the uh, viewers a balance sheet right. that we have created now mm-hmm. what we did is people who reported that they didn't use it for working capital mm-hmm. they might have used for because it was a liquidity they crunch phase personal personal phase they, so they have used it for their yeah. personal phase yeah. so we created the balance sheet of two groups mm-hmm. one that reported that they used it for non working capital requirements mm. and one that used for working business capital, for one business. those who used for business and yes. who, those who consumed it correct right there we saw that on an average the the the, the like let's say bef- so in the application data we had information what their business levels were right so just how we uh, so in we the loan application in the loan application data so we 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 have a comparative group that is these they have on an average they have similar sure, uh, sure. Uh, similar balance sheet sure. then we see after the loan was given mm-hmm. the individual who used individuals who used it for working capital uh, requirement mm-hmm. their balance sheet actually 
grew by at least the difference in their balance sheets was close to 2000 rupees per month this is like 20% correct the, what you are saying is suppose there are two people you and yes. me yes both of them both of us borrowed from uh, uh, this uh, swanidhi Swan yes and i used it for my business yes right i bought more uh, when i say working capital more stock yes you know uh, i gave it uh, in credit to my customers it yes. can be anything anything whereas you partied not yes. surprisingly right right <laughs> yes. now if you see our business right. one year huh. from now you see my uh, no no per month this is right this is per month you yeah. see a 20% increase in my sales yes right from uh, is it sales or profits it is profit it is profit. net income it's net, net income, income right yes, it is profit yes. so 20% yes. increase in yes. my profit yes. and obviously no increase in your profit yes. Yes. so it's not that i was bluffing yes so to bluff then i should keep of course people can lie yes. but then i should keep in mind all of this and Correct. the way you quest- created this question is you would ask first question maybe you would ask some 200 question it's in first question yes, comes in yes. like 13 yes. this question would be 99 yes. so by the time 99 comes 10 customers would have come right. in between right. and it's very hard unless the person has really really and there's no incentive to bluff so much yes. who are we we are yes. not neither inspectors or yeah. no one so this is what you find yes. and this 20% a lot of people may get surprised but that's that's nothing to be surprised that's what mckenzie modro find that's, yes. in kenya yes you know 5 6% in sri lanka per month 20 yes. to 25% in some experiments they do find yes so these street vendors are running businesses yes uh, which are you know 20 25% and maybe there is some extra labor you remove because for doing this i had to put some extra effort yes and remove some something from my labor you yes. know suppose i had to hire more people even then 10 15% a month Mm. You know, it's crazy yes and despite that these people are not getting credit yes this is uh, you can't have a bigger market failure than this yes and that way that way any some some intervention like this is is definitely necessary yes and and this was a step in the right direction yes so three yes. things so it left it it reached people yes uh, who, who were uh, you know the intended target yes second people did use it for the right purpose right yes. purpose yes and those who used it for right purpose hmm. uh, made a lot of money and which yes. actually shows that they were constrained Correct. in fact we should not celebrate that they're making so much money yes the way an economist would think is that if it was so profitable why were they not credit getting credit before yes that yes. is the way it's not to be celebrated of Yes. You know it should show failures and and this is a failure it's not success of the market. Yes. And the fact that you know I'm not saying that schemes failure but yeah. it's a general market, market failure. Market failure. And therefore something you know government intervention is necessary. Hmm. You know we defined freebie other day yes. anything that tries to correct a market failure is not a freebie. Yeah. You know freebie is something where you despite market working well. Yes. Right? So these were some of the good things. Yes. There's one more thing that you were talking about about this card Right? Yes. So yes. what is that? Can you talk about this? Right. So uh when we would like the when we talk about the scheme the mm-hmm. whole intent was to make them give them access to credit and everything but as we as i mentioned there were peripheral benefits to mm-hmm. to 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 the scheme. Now mm-hmm. uh one 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 thing that is required while you are taking this Swanidhi loan is you have to be a registered street vendor majority right. of the people have to be a registered street vendor there are other things also that you can display in terms of your uh, identity and other things but then having a street vendor id card that gets issued from the urban local body mm-hmm. or a letter of recommendation that comes from the urban local body actually legitimizes you as a street vendor right now there what we saw is people have we we asked them what is the benefit of this and we didn't ask them directly mm-hmm. we asked them whether after they got this uh, this this street vendor card was the harassment by the nearby uh, vendors or shopkeepers reduced uh, even in, in police and all yes, of that right and we saw a significant drop or the results show that there was a significant drop in harassment so they actually see this card as some kind of legitimacy of, yes, uh, of yes, their business that's yes. another uh, collateral benefit yes. which even the scheme uh, uh, designers wouldn't have thought right, right? right so right. wonderful yes. now these are all good things yes but you know we are not government spokespersons or you know just to just to only talk about good things there yes. are issues also yes and right? we found a lot of issues yes. right and i've read the report carefully yes and one of the things that you are highlighting is that awareness of the scheme itself yes right can yes. you tell more about this you know that digital despite giving so much benefits people are not aware not taking the benefit right so right so when we look at the broader 
uh, idea of the scheme let's say the broader things that the scheme offers so let's mm. say if i ask a street vendor that what is the ticket size mm. so they are like 95% no 99% no that it's a 10000 rupee loan 95% also know that there is a 7% uh, subsidy that mm. is there mm. but when it comes to more detailed questions about the scheme mm. that whether do you have a cash benefit digit like cash back offer whether mm. how is the subsidy coming to your account whether did you get a subsidy or not mm. those kind of things become blurry right and we uh, do, and you see when these information become blurry they also show up in their way of functioning right yeah you you said multiple uh, correct uh, what was that issue so when when it comes to cash back right. the the whole idea about getting a cash back is dependent on how many digital transactions you do sure so the 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 scheme gives you option of earning up to 100 rupee cash back right. if you do let's say 100 and above digital transaction right now majority or not majority around 45% of these street vendors mm. in our uh, sample had more than one upi account right right and one upi account and more than one upi account also signifies that th th so this is it a swanidhi loan that is linked to one upi account yes so and you have two of them and you do randomly in all two only yes. one will be counted one will be counted so let's say the and that the only one that is connected to the swanidhi loan account ah, okay. bank so you account you are under reporting your digital transaction we are under report the street vendors are under reporting and they don't know and if, correct. if they they just have to keep one and that will increase yes. their benefit yes the yes. cashback scheme yes. will come yes you know that can make their loan completely interest free right right right, right. and this is one awareness issue yes so the uh, the second issue with, with the bank Yes. you know this we discussed with ashirbad the other day right the banks are doing it today because there is a prime minister sitting with a danda yes right they, they have been forced to do it yes but genuinely did, did you see so much interest among banks uh, when you speak to bankers yeah. do they really are interested in this scheme it's not that they're lazy or anything yeah it simply doesn't work out for them yes these are very large organization yes they have huge fixed costs yes and you can't go and keep you know pushing uh, a 10000 10000 rupee loan. loan yes on the one hand you will give 10000 the other day you will negotiate 100 crores yeah and and this bank structure the psu bank structure is not doesn't seem like the way to give yes. this loans right yes, yes. and that's what you are recommending a microfinance yes. or a, a group kind of structure, structure self help yes. group structure yes. Yes. who are nimble yes. who are connected to the ground yes. who costs are lower yes. you know we will one day discuss this dharmasthala model we keep talking about yes. Yes. you know there the costs are much lower yes. and it should be run through them right. rather than uh, uh, these mammoths uh, these these yes. huge Yes, that's right, another thing right, i think right. will, not, will will is, is going to make this non sustainable yes. if you because how long you will force some day banks will say forget it you know and mm. and i remember you telling me that some of the banks are not even claiming this guarantee is that true did you check that so we did see mm. so when i think when, when we saw the default rates uh, now given that it's that there is a credit guarantee that is linked to this particular scheme so mm. there is i think for the first loan the credit guarantee goes so it's it's based on different layers of npas that that are there so it is up to 32% credit guarantee is there to the whole loan portfolio sure, of, sure. for the first loan sure. it goes a little lower for the second and the third and mm. so on now what we see mm -hmm. um, we, we can't it it is it's just an indicative thing mm -hmm. when we saw uh, let's say we, when when we were talking to these psus they there was at least there was some laxity in terms of collection they were not completely they they were not uh, very upfront in like they didn't want to go and do yeah, the collection yeah because it's a pain for them Correct. so let's let's face it you yes. know you can all blame anyone yes tomorrow our dean asks us to do some random stuff right some small thing we will not you know we will do it out of force right but we will not enjoy it yes right so this is we have to find some alternative mechanism yes other than these large psu banks yes you can't have the same bank doing huge infrastructure projects yes. and also doing this swanidhi yes that's another issue right third point which we have also highlighted see ultimately what is the goal of this scheme right, right. in my mind ultimately the success of this scheme is mm. that these people should be able to borrow on their own mm. this you said this is building credit record and and all yes. of that yes. ultimately the fact that you have done three cycles Yes. Ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand. You repaid. Yes. 
once you're done with that, there should be another uh, banker should be willing to lend you. Yes. You paid three loans. Yes. Now that process, at least now, what do you find? Has it started yet? So, uh, that, that, that what I expected while uh, while while seeing at least when we were doing this study, and I think it still exists. Probably the situation is much better now. Now, what we observed is over twenty. So. Let's say after people take the first Swanidhi loan, we see around 28 to 29, 30% people have taken the second loan. Mm -hmm. Now, I expected something similar with other loans as well, right. that these individuals will also go and take other loans and so on. Because you have a track record. Correct. You can now go to the bank, look, I took this 10,000 rupee loan, I have Correct. repaid on time Correct. every month and all that. Correct. But Correct. you don't find that. No, we, fi we find actually less than 8-9% um, of people have actually have, yeah, have it, any other yeah, loan. Yeah, it's, it's early days yet. Correct. But, but then probably, yes. The metric, the way I would see the metric, you know, I would see the, the, the one metric to be tracked yes. about the success of this scheme eventually is yes. what proportion of them will, will be able to borrow from the markets without this intervention. Right. Because if the scheme makes them permanently dependent on this scheme, that is not the success. Yes. That's not success of the scheme. Success yes. is they should be able to borrow on their own. Yes. And that is yet to be seen. Yes. You know, hopefully that will happen soon. Right. Because now we're two rounds, three rounds. Yes. But we have to keep watch. Uh, uh, yes. uh, uh, keep a watch on that. Right. 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 So right. Uh, one thing that we did not discuss though, which yes. a lot of people may be interested in, default rates. Yes. Because that's the thing, right? Mudra loan has this much default rate and all of that. Yes. So what was the default rate that, that, that you found? So now the default rate, again, it's a 5,000 sample and then we also it's checked it. We so did check with some banks. public sector banks yeah. as well, which yeah. we mapped to our sample and so on. So it was, let's say, uh, it was ballpark 15% overall and 13% overall and it was dropping. It was, it was in a declining trend from the peak covid period to 20 yeah 13 yeah, percent during covid and is it was uh, around sort of understandable around nine but eventually it, it settled, come, to 9%. settled at around nine percent yeah so nine yes. percent looks high from a uh, uh, if you look at normal yes. loans but these are first time people yes totally unsecured yes no effort to collect yes you know nobody bothers and they have paid on their own yes the other way of looking at it is some 90 percent have gone and repaid the loan yes. even if it's 80 yes. percent even if it's 70 i think it's huge Hmm. Without any monetary, yes, right, because this is a small amount. You know, yes. it's it's not huge and it's not going to kill any bank or or, or any sector yes. compared to the benefits. Yes. Yes. So all in all, so the in sum, the, the the thing is, it has reached right segment. Yes, they are using it for right purpose. Yes, it is making an impact, and it does not seem to have blown up bank balance sheet. Yeah, but on this on the flip side, there is lack of complete awareness about the scheme. Hmm. Banks should you know are do not seem to be the right instruments to push the scheme the right. government should think about non banks and right. smaller nimble players who can do this right. and most importantly the the metric that government should look at is what proportion of them get market credit yes not outside the scheme yes that is when then then you have triggered a chain reaction and you know this should be new street vendors should come in Graduate. They should see it as an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. and it is like training, graduate, take loan and yes, get out. Yes. New comes, you know, this should be that kind of a scheme. Yes. It is not that um, I make you permanently dependent on this. Yeah. You know, government should not think of a fourth round now. Yes. The fourth round should be a market loan yes. from a bank. Right. That can really make, you know, build track record and make this business. We know that marginal returns are very high. Yes. And this should lead to growth in business. Right. You know, it, it should lead to street vendor building a permanent structure. Yes. You know, a bigger shop. Yes. Multiple shops. Right. That's where growth is. Right. So that is where the uh, the scheme should lead it. You know, they should start tracking what has happened to these businesses. Right. Instead of just tracking how much has been dispersed, which is good to start with. Right. And more importantly, how many of them have started borrowing on their own or how many of them get credit from the market. Right. So, th uh, I mean loan from the market. Right. That, if it happens, I think this will be a... Uh, uh, this will serve the purpose yes. of the scheme. So we hope that in the you know the in the hundred days of yes. new government, yes. this is one of the schemes where they will uh, focus right. uh, more. Thank you so much.